Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a good week. We have had a beautiful week. We've had a busy but good, productive, beautiful week. I think we're going to have some rain this weekend. But um, you know what? I'm going to start right off with that. Um, I actually got this last week, but I didn't show it to you last weekend because I thought I'm going to wait and show it to them when I can wear it that weekend to the beach. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to wear it this weekend either. But um, I actually, I need some new bathing suits. And Oliver had this one. They had some other ones, but this is a Mara Hoffman. And it's, um, you know, double ply or whatever. It's got a really cool bottom. And I brought it home because I loved it, but I wanted to see how it looked on me. And John loved it. And what I like about it is it's a one piece and it covers everything very well. Don't let, don't think that that doesn't. And, um, but it's not so thick. You know, the one I got last year from Benchibi that goes up one side and it's kind of, I love that. But to me, that's almost like a bathing suit to wear on a cruise or um, to a pool party. You know, when you're really not sitting out on the beach in the hot sun, going swimming and everything. It's just kind of thick. And I didn't want one like that, but I did want to kind of try a one piece this year just to see, but I didn't want it to be too, you know what I mean, too mommy-fied either. So this one is just perfect. And it crisscrosses in the back. It's got the really pretty back on it. And I love it. I can't wait. It's going to look even better. You know, bathing suits look better on the beach <laughs> than they do under the light. So in she does have, um, right after I got it, they had a photo shoot and one of the models wore this. So I'm not going to look like that in it, but um, that will give you a, you know, a taste of what it looks like. And then last year, you know, I got the beach towel from Mara Hoffman that Brooke has been taking over, but I might get it back now that I bought her that round one. But they had this little sarong from Mara Hoffman that has all the pretty colors. And you could wear it, of course, it's a scarf or a sarong or whatever, but it's for swimwear and what I'm trying to do is do more things like this bathing suit and this and not be hung up on getting so thin that I'm not worried about like summer before last I got so thin that I felt really good in my bathing suit I felt like I could wear pretty much whatever I wanted I mean I wasn't perfect but I felt good but when I look back at pictures and then I mean I was had to get so thin on the bottom, I've got to get so thin through my face and my chest and everything. And I don't want to do that. It's just so aging and not only aging, but just doesn't make you look um, healthy and pretty and round and fluffy and all the things that I think women, that I think is pretty about women. I think when I think of women, it's like I put them right there with kittens and, you know, soft and pretty and fluffy and you know, not hard and angular and stuff like that, in my opinion. That's what I want to look like. So that's what I'm kind of doing. But I really like that. And I like that it's black and just kind of plain. So we'll see how that goes. But I wish, I was hoping I could wear it this weekend and um, take some pictures. But maybe, maybe they're wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I think we might have like a tropical storm or something out there on the coast. I brought these in from the car today. I've shown them to you before, but they're my Michael Kors aviators. They're the ones that I had actually gotten to wear as prescription glasses first, and then had just had them put the sunglass lenses back in. I just wanted to tell you how much I have enjoyed these sunglasses. And they are, I believe, $99, and they come in several different colors. I think they come in one really cool, like purple color too, but I've really enjoyed these like blushy colored ones and <clears throat> excuse me i've got like that scratchy throat this morning i need to probably get a mint or something but um i've just enjoyed them so much they're the ones that just stay they stay in bunny my car my volkswagen and i wear them all the time i brought them in this morning to clean them with the microfiber and i thought you know i'm going to show them today how much i love these these and how much I love them um, in case you're looking for a good pair of, I think everybody needs aviators. I just think that you, you might not think they look good on you, but there, there's so many different, um, you know, some of them have more of a teardrop. These are just very good, basic aviators. Okay. But to go along with that, you guys knew that I was going to order these. 
I went ahead and ordered the new ones that came out, the Hexagon, and I've been waiting to wear them to show you. I always, when I get something, I just go ahead and put it up here, hoping I won't forget. And I actually ordered these from Ray-Ban, and <clears throat> they come in all different colors. They come in like that blue, you know, lots of pretty colors, like I think of pink and everything, but I wanted the most traditional, which is gold with the dark green lenses. Hey, Sassy. She's going to back up. And they are not adjusted to fit my face. And I am scared. I'll do them a little bit so maybe I can just show you. But I'm always scared to mess with them. I usually take them to Sunglass Hut because they know me there and they'll adjust them for me. Or Costco. We get Will's glasses at Costco and my mom gets her glasses at Costco. And I know the ladies there. They are so nice. And they actually will get out like the their little pliers and adjust them for you just right. They're so, so nice there. But, um, so these are definitely a different look, but I love how traditional they are. Sassy. But, um, so for those of you that don't like big sunglasses, this might be something good. And these are, um, just the hexagon and see, they have the super flat lenses. It's like, you know, kind of like the style. But when I was looking on eBay at, um, vintage sunglasses and just older poochie and stuff sunglasses, um, they made these a long, long time ago. So I just love them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're so unique and um, they weren't real, real expensive, a hundred and something. And um, there's something I'll have forever. You know, I just, my Ray-Bans, I love them. And I've had some of them for years and years and years and they just never go out of style. They're the most classic um, aviator, I think. That's just what I think about when I see aviators. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna save this big, fabulous thing until I get this stuff right here out of the way. Okay. Um, one of you had asked me a couple of times. You asked me one time, and I thought I could remember what you said. And then you asked me again, and I took a screenshot of your question. And you'd asked me if I'd ever tried this, which is the hard-to-see box. It's the Crescent White Estee Lauder BB Cream um, broad spectrum SPF 50 and brightening balm, full cycle brightening by Estee Lauder. This is not available at all Estee Lauder counters. They did not have it at either one of my Belks or my Dillard's. I had to order it from Nordstrom and you wanted to know if this was similar to Rachel K. So you had my curiosity up because I have to admit, um, up until I'll show you this next thing I've been using, I have been using my Rachel K again. That's why when you see what I've been wearing, I haven't been putting a primer. There is just that Rachel K, nothing has held my makeup on and filled in my pores and made my face look as flawless until the next thing I show you, and you know, as that. But this is, let's see, use BB cream all over face as a last step in your daytime crescent white regimen and brightening balm where desired. So it's like a, I believe it's like a skincare thing. Okay, on the, I just got this yesterday. On the top is a highlighter that I have not even swatched. So, ooh, I'm gonna be the most highlighted person. Really pretty, really pretty. I mean, it's it's got like a white cast, but it's very, very pretty. And I did squeeze this on my hand last night it comes out like a skin color and it is just a glossy like beautiful it's nothing like rachel k nothing but it is still a gorgeous gorgeous product and i think a lot of you may like it and i'm going to try it next time maybe tomorrow and uh, the fact that it has spf 50 is really nice but look how pretty it makes my hand. Let's see, you can see the difference in this hand. You can see the more imperfections. <clears throat> you can see how this one has more coverage. And it's just beautiful. See how it's got like a, well the highlight is right there. But you can see, <laughs> it reminds me of um, you mom's Ubi. <laughs> Ubi kinda, I don't know, I hate to say gross me out, but it wasn't crazy about Ubi. But um, let me get one of my wipes. But so I will let you know about that. And I always want to know. I, I mean, I get, I'm so lucky. I get a lot of things sent to me. So now I feel like when you ask me about something like that, well then, you know, I can go spend my money on that and kind of review it for us and let us know. 
So, but I do like it. I don't, I'm not going to return it and I'm glad I got it. And I think it would be really good under like mineral powder or something like that, which I wanted to tell you, remember the other day when I said I've been doing something different with my powder? This, I did this on a whim. Who knows what made me think about it. It's almost like when a kid, when you watch a kid do something just crazy and you wonder what were they thinking? And it's like they do it before they think. That's kind of how this was. And it turned out to be something really cool. But um, I had my Classic Beige Loose Laura Mercier powder. And it just, in the top of it, I, it was just, I just knew it was going to be too dark, but I wanted some of it. So I looked over at my Le Mer powder and I took some of my Le Mer powder and mixed it with my Classic Beige so that it kind of, um, I guess, dilute for lack of a better word, it kind of softened it and it gave it, you know, Le Mer powder is just so pretty and just makes your skin look so pretty. So I figured, you know, I'll try it. It was Monday. It was a day that I wasn't making a video or anything and I loved it and I have worn it every day since. And I've tried a couple of different you know, using mostly Le Mer, putting in a little bit of Classic. What I like is getting my Classic Beige out and using probably two thirds of what I would use as class, as you know, what I would get out to put Classic Beige on over my foundation, just to set it and give it more color and a little bit more coverage. And then sprinkling in about one third of the Le Mer, just enough that you use it all. And I've been using a brush that I love. It's the It ball brush. It's the one that came out before they even did that collection um, with, I'm going to leave this out. It's the one that came out before they did that collection with Ulta. And so I've been loving it. And that's what I have on today. And it's just make sure between that and this that I'm going to show you, it makes your skin look flawless. I mean, almost the first day I wore it, I looked in the mirror in the car and I thought, I put on too much makeup because it just looked flawless. I mean, it just looked like I had put on so much makeup. And then about 30 minutes later, as my skin kind of, you know, like your, I didn't fix plus that day. As my skin kind of um, softened the makeup, it just looked beautiful to the end of the day. And I think I sent Meredith a picture and we were talking about bangs and um, she commented on my skin, how good my skin looked. And I was like, I bet it's that, this stuff. So, you know, I've got a story. I was um, at the Clinique counter and there is a lady that works there that is very nice and she's from New York, I believe. And she's from a big department store. She moved here with her husband. They have several rent rental properties on the beach. And her and I, she and I love to talk about fashion. And I mean, we can just bounce off of each other. She's just, I love talking to her. And um, so I went to get Will, the three-step little acne system. A lot of you said that you really liked that, so I thought I would give it a try. And it had all the ingredients that I told you guys that I was looking for, the salicylic acid, the benzoyl peroxide, and it's something that's easy for him to do. And so we, I went to get that, and I ended up getting their free gift that has that dark green eyeshadow palette that I love. I've used it a couple of times. And um, I'll show you that. Maybe I'll do a tutorial with it because I really like it. And um, we were talking about different things, and I don't know what made us talk about a primer, but she said, um, I still think that this is the best primer. She said, it's not technically a primer, and it was over in the skincare. She said, let me give you a sample of it. So she squeezed it out um, into a little pot or whatever, and I threw it in my bag, didn't think about it again. Matter of fact, when I got home and we opened the little box of skincare treatment, someone had stolen the step one, the foam cleanser out of it, which is so sad to me. Why do people steal? I just, I don't get it. But anyway, it's, um, I just hate it. I really do. I hate that society has gotten where yesterday I ran in Kohl's to get, I ended up getting Will some shorts and I was looking at their makeup. They have the balm and all kinds of stuff. And I would say almost probably a third of their testers were gone, probably stolen. And I just hate that it's come to that, but Anyway, um, so she, okay, so I took the skincare thing back, got a new one, was taking everything out that night and noticed that little sample. And the next day, Monday, is when I just, it, and it, in the thing, it almost looks like a little, I hate to say worm, but I'm going to, it, it stays in like a tube form. 
and it comes in, I believe, three different colors, and the one that she gave me is Invisible Light, and then there's one that I wouldn't mind trying. It's like a brightening. I think it might be a pinky color, but it comes out like this, so it stays in like that. See how it's like in a tube almost type form? And I guess I should tell you the name of it. It's called the Poor Refining Solutions Instant Perfector. And it just, I don't know how to describe it. It turns into almost like a powder on your skin. And it makes your skin just poreless, flawless, and it makes whatever goes over it flawless and it makes it it lasts all day and you can even tell a difference when you're removing it like when i'm using my makeup remover my not going to say bioderma but i'm using the garnier and the blue top when i'm using that it just you have to you can tell it is holding that makeup on so i used every last bit of the sample and it makes it matte too see how it's got no reflection at all and so when i looked it up I couldn't believe I used every last drop. It oh, she gave me about two days worth. And um, when I looked it up to see what it was and to read about it, I read the reviews, and a lot of people said it was the best primer they had ever used. So everybody likes something different. I hate to think, you know, it's not very expensive. I think it was like $21. You know, Clinique, Clinique is fairly priced, and this isn't a huge amount of it. Okay, get a sample. Get a sample and try it and see if you like it and I hope that you're amazed like I have been. I've been putting that on first after I wash my face, then mixing. I've been just like a mixologist lately. Mixing, most of the time I'll mix a full coverage matte foundation with a, um, you know, something like Giorgio Armani um, Luminous or Makeup Forever. HD or mix in the Clay de Peau Silky with the Clay de Peau Matte. I've been mixing two because I really like how that turns out and putting that over it with my Oval 8 brush, which is just the best, one of the best brushes I've ever. I need to do a, a favorite brush video because I've kind of gotten some out of my, you know, storage bins and, you know, been mixing it up a little bit. And so, Okay, so the Crescent White by Estee Lauder, the Clinique Pour, and when I ordered the um, Estee Lauder Crescent White, I went ahead and ordered this, which today is the first day I've used it, and I used it on my eyes, and it is the Tom Ford Very Expensive Eye Defining Pen in 01 Deeper, which is the black. Didn't even realize that it had two different ends until I just looked at it. And so this one has this smaller, like stiffer end, but they all come to, you've seen this, I've seen so many people say that they love this. This one has this smaller side, um, and then it has this, which I use today. And I was so nervous because I hadn't used it yet. I didn't know, you know, not nervous, but you know, I didn't feel like messing up and having to do it all over again, but I loved it. And I'll tell you, when you do, um, it's very black. You can make it very thin or thicker. It's got kind of like a brushy type end, a brushy felt tip into it, um, but it is hard to get off. The first day, yesterday, when I kind of swatched both ends, I had to wash my hands to get it off. So I'll let you know. You know, I just used it today for the first time, but the main thing I hear people say is that it lasts all day. It doesn't break up, and I really don't have that problem a lot. I really enjoyed that dual-ended tart one that they sent me that has the liner, the pencil liner on one end and then the felt tip liner on the other. I've really, really enjoyed that one. The Stila I love, but the Stila brush breaks down real easy. So I will let you know how this goes, but it gets great reviews and everyone loves it. So if I love it that much, I will let you know. This is something so exciting and I know you guys have seen it because I've seen everybody showing it on YouTube. And last night I said, to myself, I said, I'm not even going to watch, you know, anyone else's review on it because I want to give my own opinion. And I can't help but when I watch someone else's review, you know, it gets into my head. But this morning I saw Jacqueline's review on her collection with Becca. 
and I thought, you know, I'm going to watch her review and her video because I remember when um, I was reviewing one of the Wayne Goss brushes, it helped so much to hear him talk about his products, and it did. I loved it. I had to watch half of it, take Will to school, come back and watch the other half. But um, Becca sent me this collection, and it's probably one of the most exciting things. This and the blushes. I have just enjoyed those luminous blushes so much, and this is no exception. And I told you guys I had ordered the Anastasia Glow Palette. Well, Brooke has that. We ordered the one that's more of the tan version. It has bubbles in it. It's that one. This is, to me, so much prettier than that. I, I only used that like twice. But, um, so this is their exclusive Sephora Champagne Pop collection. And it came in this beautiful packaging. You guys have seen it, I'm sure. And I have used every thing in here. And today was the first time that I used this, which I have the Pearl Becca, you know, highlighting cream that I ordered a long time ago before Becca was, before I even had a Sephora, before I, I, years ago. And this is the champagne one. And what I did today is I put it in with my body lotion and did like my decollete and my arms and everything with this. And she, like she said, there's so many things you can use this for. You can actually just use it for, you know, highlight, everything. I think anyone would enjoy a product like this. And what I love about the champagne is, versus the opal, is it's not, it's a little bit more subtle. And I really like that. So I think that's a great product to add in with all of your, you know, lotions to put down the, you know, the center of your shin on your leg. It just looks so pretty. And then this product I used today for the first time, it is the Champagne Pop Cream. And I was glad that I watched her review because she said that her mom liked this the best. And that if you didn't want a really blingy, you know, out there highlight, this was a good thing to use. And she said she used it with her beauty blender. So that's what I did. And I used it on the tops of my cheeks. And I will swatch it right here. It is beautiful. And it just gives your skin that almost like the Living Luminizer or um, any of those that are just give your skin almost, I hate to say a wet look, but just a good, healthy glow. Not really a bling bling shimmer like a, you know, like the makeup artist Instagrams. You know what I mean? So that is really pretty. I love it. And I even put it on like my brow bone. And who else? Did I put any? I don't know here. I'll see if you can tell, but it just really gives that, see how it just gives like that glow? It doesn't really give like a shimmer shimmer. So if you are new to the highlighter world, then that would be something good for you to try. In the collection is also the regular Champagne Pop, which I won't spend much on time on that because you guys have seen it. My hands are wet from that wipe, but here it is. And what I love about it is that it's that golden, it's kind of like the champagne in Sheila Fajal's jewelry. It's that blushy golden look. It's not too gold. Okay, then it has this, I know. And you can see by the fingerprints, I've used it a lot. And the packaging on this stuff is just gorgeous. It's very, not tacky at all. Very substantial. Very, very Becca. It's um very nice. I'm trying to pick this up with my toe, but. Oh, they have all of the names and everything in here. Wonderful mirrors, you can see. And um, so this is the eyeshadow palette. <clears throat> and she explained all the colors this morning. And beautiful. I've used them all week. I think the only day I didn't is the day I used that green. But I got them from Clinique. But very, very beautiful colors. Today, I just have on this in my crease. And then I took my Louise Young, like a long crease brush, and I dabbed more of this with a dot of the brown and put it in my crease. And that's it, because I wanted it to be like a mainly a liner look today or just real simple. And um, But I have used all of them, and they're just, they're beautiful. I mean, they really are. It's <clears throat> very subtle. I've even used just that. And Champagne Toast, it's all very, you know, what you would think. From her so that is very just yeah like that 
very good for like a summer bronze look or one day I just wore that all over the lid and then I put it under and then did just wing liner and all that stuff so just beautiful I mean she really 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 should be proud and I know she is I could tell in her video you know just how thankful she is and I think she's just a great a great role model and representative I love how she talks about her you know just life issues and stuff like that okay the best for last if you're gonna get one thing this I don't know how much this is going to be let's see if it okay the eye palette is just gonna be forty dollars which I think it is worth every bit of that this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. Includes two highlighter shades, Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop, um, one luminous blush shade, which is just amazing, new rose spritz, and two mineral blush, Amaretto and Pamplemousse. And it is $52, and it is very, very worth. I'd ra almost rather see you get this than that $100 Tom Ford thing, which that thing is gorgeous, but you get a little bit more with this, but I won't say that they're equal. I mean, they're just, it's for the price. It is just a beautiful, beautiful palette and um, everything's available now. So, um, so it opens, it's just so nice. It has a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful mirror right there. So if you are someone who does your makeup, I mean, I could do, I could probably do a tutorial just holding this and doing my makeup. And it has this little thing that shows you, and she said this, all that is, is like confetti, you know, to go with the champagne. So let me show you, try to show you without blinding you. Um, okay, here we go. It has this, which is a mineral blush. It's not matte. It's kind of like a satin. Gorgeous. I used every single shade today. So I used this first. Then this is kind of like a blushy bronzer shade, which is perfect for those of you that like um, like Chanel accent. Um, I think of Vanessa, the bombshell sweet that want that little bit of a darker blush to use to do that, like Kim Kardashian type look. And then this blush is amazing. I mean, it is so pretty. It reminds me of the one that I love so much exposed. It's like, I don't know. It's just gorgeous. It's like those blushes that they did, the luminous blushes. And it is called now that I've so it's rosé, oh, okay, it's rosé spritz, and it's just beautiful. You can see I've used the heck out of it. It's got like that, I mean, look how pretty it is. See how it's got like that? It can go either pink or peach with that gold undertone. It is just beautiful. And then it's got champagne pop in it, and then this is the Prosecco pop, which is a little bit more gold. And in her video, I'll link it down below, she explains how on different skin tones it's going to look different. But... I have used all of it every day since I got it, and it is just beautiful. It is just a really top-notch, I can't imagine Tom Ford or anything being any better than this. And I'm all, I don't know, I like keeping that on there so it doesn't get messed up. And then just such a nice, nice case, and it has the names and everything on the back. And then with, I think with that, it comes with the Becca backlight primer, backlight priming filter base. And I think I've heard Tammy say that she really likes that. So I'm going to try it, but say, so thank you so much, Becca. I mean, <laughs> like Becca's a person, but <laughs> they kind of are to me. Thank you for sending that to me. Thank you, Jacqueline Hill for making it. And just, I'm so thankful that I like, because so many, and it's not, it's not, it's me. It's just that I'm not 22, but so many YouTubers make stuff that is just not for me. I'm not going to wear, you know, I can't wear real dry, dark lips and stuff like that, or the matte lips. And a lot of stuff I just can't get into, but that is beautiful. I love it. And I think she did such a great job. Is that it? Let me, let me regroup and see if that's it. I don't want to forget anything. I think it is. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing that slip dress that I bought from Urban Outfitters. I've got this one. I've got a green one. And this one is the medium. Remember the first one I bought was a large and it was just too large. And um, you can go kind of different ways with this. You could put, um, I don't think I wore it with pumps that one day just because my nude Stuart Weitzman pumps, just because I wanted to wear a heel. I had worn a black blazer over it and I wanted those were my most comfortable, but I don't like that with it. I think it needs either a real simple 
like maybe Barbie, like slide on mule heel. Or something chunky or not chunky, but with maybe a stacked or a block heel, maybe in black or something. It needs to be kind of, um, you know, put in the shoes to me need to be something different. So what I'm going to do today, since I'm having a casual day, is I'm just going to wear my black Javiana flip flops with it and make it very casual and, you know, not dressy. And, um, but you could put, you know, you could dress it up. It's very versatile. And in the winter, it would be great under like a faux fur with boots. It's just a really, really versatile dress. And I hope it's still available. It was on sale, so it's probably not, but you've seen it before. So anyway, I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then I'll let you go. I'll be right back. So here it is. And I'm wearing a strapless bra, but really, I think what would even look better is if you had a nice um, bralette in either this color or maybe black or, you know, if you wanted to put something else with it, I think that almost would look better just to make it even more casual. And then my Javianas, and then I wanted to mention again how much I love this bag. I know a lot of you found it on sale and I, that's awesome. I have just really, really enjoyed it. It has plenty of room for all of my stuff and I am so glad I got it. And um, so this is the bag that I'm carrying. And um, let me back up to make sure you can see. I know sometimes you can't see my shoes. John has all of my wires bundled up, so I can't hardly move my camera. I've got to get him to undo that. And he did it to be nice, but you know. <laughs> so this is my outfit, and um, I'm just going to probably do not much of anything, but maybe go to the post office today, and then um, we'll go out to eat tonight somewhere casual. <laughs> Okay, and for accessories, I have on my little perfect hoops from Sheila Fajal, just some good, basic, smaller hoops. Um, I've got on my Dean Davidson necklace that I never take off. And then I've got on this, I wanted to wear something kind of different and casual. And um, this is a little mermaid. I, I can't remember her name, but um, I'll put the link down below. But I love it. I love that her tail is swirly. And I love that it kind of looks like a coin or a medallion. And But I like that the edges are... You remember me showing you when Sheila made these for me when I told her I liked the coin and the medallion stuff. I just love it and it, it's really neat. I like how unfinished it is. It's not perfect. And um, it's hard to do this stuff in the mirror. And then for um, accessories, I have on two rings that my parents gave me. I have on that one that they gave me for one Christmas. It's aquamarine and then with diamonds on there. And then that one is an opal. And um, my nail polish. I went and had my toes done yesterday and I have uh, Cajun shrimp on my toes and it's so classic. I went with another classic. I was craving something dark on my fingernails so and I had cut them real short. I had bubble bath on before I put this on and um, this is Lincoln Park After Dark. Just a good classic dark polish and for some reason I like dark sometimes in the summer just for something different. So I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.